We all saw the breaking news. A potential new drug for pulmonary fibrosis might be getting approved after meeting its phase three study endpoint. But what does it actually mean for you as a patient when a phase three study is successful? Can you get the new medication today, tomorrow, years from now, ever? After the completion of a phase three study, there are still some more steps that need to be completed. Let's take a few minutes and talk about the process of developing a new treatment from the lab all the way to your medicine cabinet. Researchers spend many years in the lab trying to identify potential new treatment options. Once a possible treatment is discovered, it needs to move out of the lab and be studied in humans through clinical trials. Clinical trials have multiple phases. Initial studies, known as phase one studies, are looking to identify the safest dose of the medication. Once those studies are completed, researchers continue the process by moving on to phase two. In phase two, researchers are looking for side effects and safety, and they do this in a larger group than they studied in phase one. If the study shows the possible treatment is safe, then the next step is to evaluate how well the treatment works. This is done in a phase three study. Phase three studies are done in a large group of participants, typically hundreds. Researchers are looking to see if the treatment meets the endpoints they are looking for. Let's pause for a moment. What is an endpoint? The endpoint is an outcome that can be objectively measured to assess if the treatment is beneficial. Examples of an endpoint may be survival, change in lung function, change in the distance a participant can walk, or change in quality of life measurements. When the phase three study is completed, Researchers look at all the data they collected and determine if the treatment met the endpoint they were looking for. If they did meet the endpoint, then the study is con considered to be positive. So the study said the medication works. Can you then get the medication from your care team? Not quite yet. There are still some more steps that have to occur. When a phase three study is positive, the company can then make a request to the FDA to review the medication. This is done through a new drug application, or NDA. The NDA compiles all the safety and efficacy data that has been collected through studying the medication. The FDA reviews the NDA, looking to assess several things. If the drug is safe and effective in its proposed use, whether the benefits outweigh any risks, if the package insert, referred to as drug labeling, is appropriate and what should be included in that labeling, and if the manufacturing processes are adequate. Through the approval process, it will be indicated for who the medication is appropriate, who should not take the medication, this is also known as contraindications, any safety warnings and dosing instructions. After the FDA completes its review, they make a decision about whether or not the medication can be marketed and sold to patients. The FDA may approve the medication they may recommend further studies are completed, or they may deny approval of the medication. If approved, the medication can then be marketed and sold to patients. Once the medication goes to market, it continues to be studied for long-term safety and efficacy. Sometimes additional studies are done to see if the medication is indicated for other groups of people. So FDA approval was announced. Can I get the medication now? Almost. You will need to discuss the medication with your provider to make sure it's appropriate for you and your disease process. If your provider prescribes the medication for you, then you can start the process of getting the medication. There may be a period of time before the medication is in stock as manufacturing increases. Additionally, there may be insurance coverage that needs to be figured out. This all may look different for each medication. Your care team will walk you through the process of getting your medication. And don't forget, you can always check pulmonaryfibrosis.org for additional resources.